What is up guys? Tank Game Johnny Utah here. We have a little bear action for you. Just like I told you guys, I like this premium tank. Now, before we get into that, a uh, couple of updates on some things we have going on. The giveaway for the code, I'm still going to let that marinate for a few more days. I know a lot of you guys were not fans because it was on Twitter. And then a lot of the guys were not fans of the guys saying it's on Twitter because, hey, just make a new Twitter account. A lot of folks were not fans of things. Let's just go ahead and say that. But either way, I'm going to let it marinate. Uh, and what we're going to do is, those of you that went in for the contest on Twitter, we're going to take that into account. And those of you that went in for the contest on the actual post, we're going to go in for that too. So, I'm going to put it all in a big pot and stir it up and pick a winner. Moving on. Now, a gentleman, uh, just tippy, a gentleman just reminded me today that I am going to do a map tactics video. I'm going to have my mentor session this evening, so expect uh, Fjords and Abby coming out consecutively, maybe, who knows. Uh, either way, I am going to record those live, I believe, this evening, so make sure to check out for those. Now... I am going to have a weak spot guide at some point come out for something. I know I said super conquer, but I say things. Uh, mi main compadre, hybrid zero, uh, does not have one, which is odd because he has like every tier 10 made, plus some stuff that didn't get made. Anyway, moving on. Let's get to the game. We are on Windstorm. Windstorm. And we're in the bear. I like this tank. I like this tank a lot. It makes me very nervous that it's going to get nerfed. That it's too good, it's going to get nerfed. The mobility, uh, the gun, the armor, uh, I'm just, I'm nervous that they're going to, you know, take the axe to it. The Trinity to my 10 o'clock there, I didn't necessarily care for as anywhere near much is this thing this is a really really good tank if you're looking for the best bang for your buck you could do considerably worse than this this is an amazing tank I am a big fan of this um, but like I said previously though th the part that I don't like is the accuracy and aim time but it is average for Soviet slash Russian tanks same thing so keep that in mind now, granted, you know, you've got a good solid crew, which I've got like 9, 10 perks, so it's not necessarily awful, but I don't have any gear on this. I'm kind of running it, running it bare, so, ha, double entendre. So, if you had some equipment on here, it wouldn't necessarily be as bad. Rammer, vents, vertical stabilizer, GLD, what have you. You had some gear on here, it wouldn't necessarily be that bad. Now, moving on here to the game... Uh, a little less about the tank moving on to the game. Uh, Going to try to get some long range shots at this gent right here. Uh, we took a round. Uh, we gave a round. The round did only track us. So not really a whole lot going on there. Uh, we, we have some very poor accuracy. But like I said in the, in the meet the bear. Guys, these Soviet tanks aren't designed for long range encounters. They're not designed for sniping. And... The, and when you put them in that position, they perform, eh, but it's not necessarily made for that. So you can't, you know, you can't hold that against them. Now, granted, of course, if I give up my position, then I'm not going to be at equal height. So I'm not necessarily going to have any shots like I do here. So, you know, you don't want to give up shots. Say, oh, well, you know, my gun doesn't have good accuracy. I'm going to move down here. No, no, no. Take the shots. Never give up shots. Never willingly give up shots. So we've got some shots. We're going to take them, even though that's not what the gun is designed for. Short to mid-range. And I think they even say that in some of the World of Tanks videos. They say, yeah, yeah, the Soviet gun's short to medium range. You want long range? Look at the Leopard or the E50M. Long range, 0 0.30 accuracy, or the waffle. I, I don't know what it's at now. It's like 0.29 or something crazy. Eh, ridiculous accuracy. Yes, long range. But for this, not so much. Moving on. Uh, we are wrapping up. We are pushing these tank destroying campers. Um, that is, I'm not necessarily taking shots on them. That is what tank destroyers do. Um, we're just going to kind of go up in here and wrap this up. 
Not a whole, whole lot going on. This gent here just realized moments ago he was in trouble. Uh, we put a round in him, and someone eradicates him for me. Good shot. And now we're looking for the other one. And essentially, we're just going to finish this up, mop this up. And this was one of those situations where, you know, the team just kind of folded in on itself. And I hate to see it. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I would much rather be on this side than the other side. And I think we all feel like we've been on the other side <laughs> more than the winning side. But, you know, it's neither here nor there. It's, it's, it's all RNG. There's nothing you can do about it. At least that's what we tell ourselves, right? But, you know, I had fun. It was a good game. I enjoyed myself. I like this tank. I might just keep it, just not give it back. 1886, a whopping 53 assists. Guys, I hope you enjoy. Make sure to check in for the winner of the giveaway tomorrow or the next day. And make sure to check out for the uh, uh, My Map Tactics videos. Blur.